right, folks, sorry if you get some wind noise. I don't, I'm not bringing an external mic out on the ice, but uh, I'm here. I'm here with my friend Raw, who you've seen before. Our friend Jody's coming later. I'm at the spot, I'm at the pike spot, where I also caught my PB largemouth bass through the ice last year. So uh, Raw's playing around with the drone, and uh, we're going all out today. We're, we're mainly going for pike, but you know, it might turn into, you know, things always change, but Anyway, uh, should be fun as the drone flies over my head. We're gonna get into different kinds of tip-ups today. I brought some, some other stuff and I even brought something that can be considered a tip down. What is that you ask? And why do they even call it a tip up? We'll get into it in a little bit. Let's just set up first. All right, before we get started with my stuff, I just wanted to show you someone who's been watching way too much YouTube. That's it. Raw here. He just purchased this thermal tip up um, and he saw people catching pike on hot dogs. So he wants to try it, but I don't know. I, it might be just so crazy that it works. I hope so. I really do. But Big chunk of me. I also hope that if it doesn't work that he starts using minnows. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. I, this, that would be truly incredible. That would be viral. That would be totally viral. Guys, I, t I turned the camera off for a second <laughs> and we were lowering it down. You can't make this up. We were lowering it down and then we thought it hit the bottom, but then we saw it continue to go and we're like, oh, maybe it wasn't on the bottom. Why don't you give it a good yank to see? And he gave it a good yank, and he didn't really feel anything on there, but we brought it back up, and the hot dog is gone. Fuck, that was in there, too. That was in there, B. So he's got more hot dogs, and that's what I think he should stick with for a little while. I don't know, guys. Even... Oh yeah, there's something on here. Oh, feels good. Got him up. Oh, he's pulling. Got to get his head through here. He knows. Dude, something's nice on here. Mike. It's a good one. He's just gotta get his head through. Gotta get his head through. There we go. Holy good one. Holy oh, Nice bike. Holy Uh well that's a keeper. Wow. If okay, I can get the hook out. I'm gonna let this guy go. He's amazing. Oh my gosh, look at him peel it out. Good job, bro. <laughs> PB nice. Pike, PB Pike. Let me see how it feels. It's, it, you'll know it's a big fish. Okay. No, that's, well, either way, we'll just drag him. Okay. He's on the board, Miss Ford. Come on, man, open him out. He's actually hooked in a perfect spot. Where I can get it and he'll be fine if he'll open. I need like uh, jaw spreaders. Woo! How sharp are the teeth? Very sharp. You don't want to mess around with that. There we go. Nice. Now he's got the braid stuck in his mouth. Come on, man. Okay. Got him. All right. So it's let, let, let the whole thing go. Stop. <laughs> Do I not have my measure today? Can't be, sort your shit out man, you should know where your tape measure is, right pocket. Right. Well, <laughs> we'll measure it. With the rod. With the rod. And he comes down to right here. Yep. Let him go. Don't know how much this weighs you guys. Don't want to weigh, it's too heavy to weigh vertically, but anyway. Nice. Job, bro. It's 
good way to start the morning. Yeah, first hole, boom. Big red sense. Fish finder. Bro's got a flag. Bro's got a flag. Come on, man, pull it. Nothing. Check your minnow. Gone. It's a good sign, man. It's a very good sign. Don't just drop it right back down. Yep. Okay, well, that was some good excitement uh, within the first 40 minutes of being here. But I'm going to take this little downtime to tell you about the etymology of tip ups. So, a tip up is a reference to the flag, which when you have a fish on, tips up. I know maybe this was intuitive for most of you, but I never really knew. I just always called them tip ups. Now, you may have heard there's something called a tip down. A tip down is not a reference to a flag, it's a reference to the rod tip being down. So these are various kinds of rod holders, passive lines that you know there's a fish on because the rod tips down. But then when you get into tip ups and tip downs, of course, you have all kinds of different ones. So I have a few of them with me today, so let's check them out. All right, so this right here is uh, your example of what I believe they call a flat board tip up. This one is plastic. Some of them are made of wood. Um, relatively simple to use. So the drawback is, of course, on a cold day like today, your ice hole is going to freeze up pretty easily on you. And that's why you need to get a thermal tip up. Now, as I'm walking you over to one of my thermal tip ups, I'll explain that the, the real kind of old fashioned ones that people definitely still use, especially around here, are those wooden ones. I forget the name for them right now, but you know, uh, there's like two pieces of intersecting wood going horizontally and the one piece coming up vertically with the flag hanging off of it. Uh, those are like the really traditional old school ones, but especially I've noticed up here in upstate or, you know, uh, Hudson Valley, New York, a lot of people still use those. But anyway, so this is your example of a thermal tip up. The idea being that um, it insulates the hole. So the hole is much less likely to freeze over. Um, on my other thermal tip ups, you can see it's, it's just like styrofoam that insulates it, but it's enough. All right, moving on. Today is the debut of our wind lass tip up not windless but wind lass this uh, uses the power of wind to jig your minnow now we don't have too much wind today which is why it's not moving much but every once in a while when the wind picks up you'll see uh, you can adjust this metal uh this flat metal thing uh it's now adjusted for a low wind day you can make other adjustments to the apparatus too to uh, get it jigging a little better. I'm still kind of learning this thing. Now, this is actually still considered a tip up because the flag still, when the spool starts going out, the flag will still go up. But it's kind of, you know, a unique tip up for sure. And I guess one could make the argument that when uh, a fish bites, this, this tip will go down, which is kind of like a rod tip. So I guess it's kind of a, a mix between the two. But what is an example of a tip down? Well, I don't have a genuine authentic tip down, but I do have something that can be considered both a tip up and a tip down. And it's another new thing. I'm gonna set it up and show you in a second. Oh, I don't know if we have enough battery. Let's see. I don't even know how long this is. Nope. Did he even get bit? No. Okay, so this is a great opportunity for me to showcase some of the new gear I got that I haven't used yet. So, this is the Clam Arctic Warrior, the, this apparatus here. And I actually, I'm testing out my new uh, heavy duty uh, lake trout rod with it. And that's just my Cast King Speed Demon. I know it looks very big and it is too big for this. But anyway, this can this is this would be a tip down because when there's a fish the rod tip will go down however they've put a flag on it so it's actually also a tip up at the same time um like i said i don't genuinely have a tip down let me just tell you about this rod real quick while we're here um i think it's 32 inches i got it so i can target lake trout through the ice i might even be doing that soon um the only reason i put this big uh 
speed demon on here is because they say with lake trout, uh, most a lot of people use bait casting reels for ice fishing for lake trout, but um, I don't have one that's particularly fast. And this one, this uh, speed demon, oh, and you know, I bought a spinning rod. So I needed a spinning reel that was relatively fast. And last I knew this was one of the fastest on the market. I think they've made a Speed Demon Elite that's even has an even faster gear ratio, but that was the idea with that. By the way, um, if you can't tell, we're not fishing for lake trout today. I just brought this out just for and giggles. But anyway, so maybe now you might, if you didn't already, have a better understanding of tip-ups, tip-downs, and everything in between. All right, and last but not least, then of course we have the Jaw Jacker which is really neither a tip up or a tip down. It's an automatic hook setter. But I guess if you're talking about the rod tip, like you do with a tip down, then this would be actually a tip up. I guess you could just attach a flag to that, that uh, the end of the rod. I usually attach a bell. That's what I think I'm gonna do soon. So this is the rare time that, uh, I have enough lines in, or I have so many lines in, that I can't legally jig unless I take one out, of course. But uh, yeah, so I have the, uh, the flat board tip up, just one of them today. I let Raw borrow my other. I have three thermals, two there and one over there. I have the jaw jacker and I have the windlass. I even have a rod to spare, but maybe Jody will want to use it when he gets here. I'm not used to like not jigging. This is weird for me. I'll probably start at some point, but stop jigging. Let's see. Stole my bait. Okay guys, it's just about tea time. The tea today is literal pine needles. Did you know that pine needles are an excellent source of vitamin C? Now they sell them. This I think was probably, I, uh, I'd have to ask my sister where she got it, but um, I'm sure you could use pine needles, any pine needles really. However, I'm sure some taste better than others. So I brought this kind of strainer today. I'm gonna dump some in there. We got the water boiling already. You have to let it steep for a while, I think. Optimum like 20 minutes and covered as it as it steeps to keep in like I think it's like the uh, the oils or something I'm just gonna dump a healthy portion of pine needles in there Why not? Oh, we got a boil All right pine leaves Pine needles, I should say, are in. Top going on. And we're gonna give these a nice long time to brew. Vitamin C town, here we come. The wind has picked up a little bit. I wanted to show you guys this thing in action. So it just kind of jigs for you. It's pretty cool. And I'm sure, you know, if it was even windier, this would be even more dramatic, but I mean, that's that's the same kind of jigging I would be doing. Probably more consistent too. There we go, look at that. And it's more like erratic, you know, because it just depends on the when the wind comes, so and how strong it is. You can do you can adjust it all kinds of ways. I'm just still kind of playing around with it. Just took the teapot out of the shed. The shed inside smells like a gosh darn Christmas tree. You're not going to get much color with this, but you're going to get some unexpected. I mean, yes, it straight up tastes like a pine tree, but um, there's a bit of a, uh, an unexpected sweetness. It's it's very pleasant going down, um, very piney, of course, but it's not like bitter or anything. It's it's pretty smooth. I'd like to find out, and it doesn't say on the packaging what exact kind of pine tree this came from but it's just straight up pine needles. Obviously no caffeine, but an excellent source of vitamin C and, uh, and probably some other stuff. So this is hardcore. All right, because I left my uh, mug with my caffeinated tea in the car, 
I also have nothing to pour this into, so I guess I'm just going to drink the pine needle tea straight out of the pot, and hopefully it doesn't burn me. I think it's been sitting long enough. Mmm. Piney. It's great if you like things piney. It's a little bit of a sweetness, not really any bitterness, just straight up pine. And I think it's healthy. And it warms you up. It's like uh, taking a Christmas wreath off of someone's door and blending it and boiling it. I don't know. It's really good though. You'll love it. Pine needle tea. That's moving. Oh, it's another, it's another heavy. Well, no, not as heavy, not as heavy. Not as heavy, but it's still, it's fighting like a pike. Oh, wait, damn it. Dude, dude, I'm sorry. As I was just saying that, as I was just saying that. It's okay. Here, uh, just play it though, play it. And don't let the, don't let the line get loose. Damn, he's pretty big. I know, oh, I know. I think he's bigger than the here, last here, bring one. Here, here, bring it, bring it, bring it. Oh, that's a Look at that. Bring it, bring it. Okay, wait, 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 we gotta... It's okay, I got him. I got him, bro. Holy... Holy. <laughs> Alright, put it... Don't hold it vertical. Hold yeah. Side. Yeah. Okay. Holy shit, and look, barely hooked, guys. Barely freaking hooked. Damn, Dude, let's take a measurement on my, uh... Here, here, I... <laughs> no, that's, that's bigger, dude. That's bigger. 32. 32, pinch the tail. 32. 32 incher. Sorry, I. Oh, he wants to bite you. That's okay. All right, so let's. You want to let him go? Yeah, we'll let him go. You see, he's a big one, right? Don't keep the trophy ones. I, I, I mean, you can, but what do you think? I mean, here. Wait, hold it out. Hold it out. All right. Nice, nice dude. Take it for yours. Now, nah, teamwork. Just, just so we get a nice. Oh, oh, he was ready to go. Boom, dude. Give me five. Wow, this is the same hole, bro. Yeah, this and it's the same, the same, t same tip up and same hook. I didn't tell you, I found the hook. <laughs> That's a big one too. Awesome. Nice. Good job. I, I, I was just telling Jody how oh we're taking turns now, and I just that saw that. Not up, is it? Oh. The, no, that's the that's the wind that power. Uh, nice. Yeah, no, that's my nice. my bad though. That I mean. No, it's all good. But. And you could say, think of it this way, like, someone needed to get it started, you know, like, because yeah, 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 yeah. how many times have I, you know, came too late or whatever. Was the other one? 20... 27. That was five, that had mine by five, yeah, yeah, yeah. five inches. He was, he was not hooked great either. <laughs> like, I mean, did you see? It was just know, right was on the on outside. The that's crazy. Yeah, that's the, that's the, that's the spot right there. And by the, not only is that where we got both fish, that's the first hole I drilled. <laughs> when we came out here i my, my my fish senses i don't know i just noticed it up and then i as i was coming towards it i saw the, the spindle still still going but you know like sometimes some people wait like i said this in my last video like sometimes you it you wait until it stops yeah. and then sometimes it's a better idea to do it while it's still moving and you and who who is to say and it, it also has to do with like, where's the minnow in the fish's mouth like all right jody got something to be careful when he gets to the hole Run. that seems heavy dude it's so hard to dial with it now. you can pull though yeah, seems like yeah if, he, if he pulls let him pull but just keep the line tight yeah he's gonna pull more as he gets close to the hole dude i think you got something nice yeah oh what's a big boy come on come on get just get that oh pike yeah it was definitely a pike I think his jaw hit the ice. Yeah, he hit the ice. And, and then, then you help it then offset he... the hook. Well, dude, changed, changed dude, no. Look at the hook. Uh, yeah. Look at that. Guys, sorry, dude. Wow. Right. We'll get him again. That might have been, you think that was even bigger? That's so hard to tell. It was the a big was fish. Pulling. That was a big fish. It's probably the same fish. He's just hungry. Damn. <laughs> okay, so maybe we got to <laughs> use. <laughs> sorry, Joe. It's all right. That's your first time doing that, so lesson learned. Well, I don't know what the lesson was. It got to the, like, it came up to the ice and then it, like, changed the yeah, angle. Yeah, I think it kind of yeah, hit it yeah. changed right. the angle. So that's it, you just, like, when you know he's close, and I, I don't think you made any big mistake, like but when you know he's close, it's like, and I was going through, you'll see when you see my catch too, like, 
when he's close, you really have to like just try to get that head like yeah, coming out yeah. the right angle. Yeah. It's not, you know, there's nothing, it's not your fault. And we, it's all his fault. <laughs> and now this probably means we, ha we've just, there's just been two big ones yeah. in the last, you know, so let's just. Irish luck, Brendan, I'm telling you, man. Here, here. I got a beverage here, man. Oh god, chairs in the way. Do you, do you want help? Wait, 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 wait. No, no, I got it. I got it. Yeah, you got it. Oh, sorry. It's, uh... There you go. Nice perch, dude. Boom! You want to keep it? Yeah, why not? Gosh, uh, wait, what are you fishing with? Oh, it's a treble with a minnow? Yeah. Nice. Nice. Oh, what? I thought you just had your chair. Not a bad perch for, I was, like, for the roster. I was like, putting it in my chair so it wouldn't go in. And then, boom. Good stuff. You should have handed it to Jody, but no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> this is you, Jody. That must have just gone up too. Got him? Yes. Something, right? It doesn't feel big, but it's something. But it's something. It's something. Oh. Nice, dude. Good bass. Yes. Right on the lip too, so we can let him out, let him go easy. Nice fat one. It's a consolation, right? Yeah. Everybody caught something. Oh, it's a monster. <laughs> I mean, it's fat. It's it's a it's a football. I mean, but probably only like a pound and a half. Yep. First fish of the year. Uh, Happy New Year. There you go, buddy. Right. Feel good because I uh. Saw the flag. Yeah, you did. Oh, you should <laughs> head first. I mean, he'll figure it out, but there you go. Awesome. Nice. All right, everybody's on the board. Okay, folks, just since we've been having this tip up conversation, this thing's in really bad shape, but this is those old fashioned kind. I had it in my car, walked back to get my tea, which I have since spilled. So we'll set this guy up just for the, the end here. So now we got one of these guys set. This thing is definitely on its last legs, but maybe it can pull off a miracle today. Ross, God. oh God, come on, Raw. It's still going, it's still going. Dude, forget the drone. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a pike, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe not, it's not that big. <laughs> bass. Bass. Yeah. Nice one though. I left him a lot of good stuff. Nice one. That's a that's a two pounder all day. Look at that, right in the lip. So these hooks work pretty good for fish that aren't like huge. Boom. You can lift that one. There it is. Nice. So the drone was drawing us up there somewhere. Uh, head first. Can I take the bus? We're not allowed. Yeah, we can't. We can't. Oh, not until June. Uh, yes, tr correct. In New York, yes. All right.
Yep. Little guy. Now it's bluegill time. If you just want to catch some fish, I would come to this hole. You want to? Yeah, do it. The only thing is, pull the transducer out before you get it to the hole, or it, it, like it's happened to be so many times where it gets tied up. Oh, sh the hot dogs. Oh, no. All right, guys. So, well, so far, no pike bit on hot dogs, if you even remember that from the beginning of the day. But we had three left, so we boiled them up. Mmm, delicious. That's my first hot dog in like, I don't know how long. Let me swallow first. So, we had a great day out here, and honestly, I think we still have a good chance of catching a few before we leave. I just wanted to have some good light for my outro. Um, anyway, great day. I caught my PB pike. Raw caught his PB pike, but I don't think he's gonna count it because I started the process, which sucks, and I apologize to Raw for that. Jody may have had the biggest pike of the day, uh, just judging by watching him try to guide it up. Uh, but as sometimes happens, we lost it. He got a, a consolation bass, and now hopefully we're gonna get him on some bluegill right here because I've already caught two, and they seem to be, you know, doing that bluegill thing. Um, but anyway, it was a good outing great outing and uh hopefully we have at least one more before it warms up a bit anyway hope you like what you're seeing please like and subscribe and as always fish like no one's watching i would say just make him come up to it and he'll he'll, he'll yeah he's coming right now you, you, I, I think i just saw him bite yeah yep oh the, the deuce drop the deuce pick up the deuce actually oops there you oh that's a that's a decent eater size. Oh, and he's got a he's got a rip out of him. Look at that. That must Ooh, be from a yeah. from a pike. Wait. You guys see that? That tells you there's there's pike in here. Yikes. Maybe we should take him just because he probably ain't. Last one. Ra, you want another bluegill? Jody, the bluegill master. Need help? Under the ice. Wow. <laughs> Bro, how many of these do you want? <laughs> wait. I think, wait, why is it? Oh. <laughs> it is like a half eaten pork from inside the. Typical Irishman, give it to me when it's done. Here, 